Welcome. In this video, we will review how to purchase BNB using Ethereum. We're going to do a cross-chain swap. So with the Ethereum in our MetaMask wallet, we will purchase some BNB and we will also set up the Binance Smart Chain Network on our MetaMask wallet. Let's get started. Let's navigate to app.rubik.exchange. This is a fantastic cross-chain swap and let's get started by connecting our wallet. I will click connect wallet. I will click MetaMask. From here, enter the password to unlock your wallet. Click unlock. If this is the first time you're connecting to Rubik, it will ask to connect with MetaMask. This is normal. Only do this with sites that you trust. Next, it will ask for some permissions to see address, account balance, activity, and suggest transactions to approve. This is normal. Excellent. We're now ready to trade our Ethereum for some BNB. Let's go ahead and click multi-chain at the top. We will click select token, click ETH, Ethereum. Below, we will click select token and click BNB. Now we're ready to enter an amount. Let's go ahead and input 0.1 and we will see how much BNB we'll get in return. Approximately 0.7 BNB and we can see the routing. If you guys want to see a breakdown, you can also click on transaction details and that'll give you a full breakdown of the network fee and the gas fees and whatnot. I highly suggest that you guys have a tool on hand such as Ethereum Gas Tracker so that you know what you're getting into with the gas fees with no surprises. Generally speaking, gas fees for Ethereum are much cheaper during the night or the early mornings Eastern Standard Time and especially on Saturday and Sunday. Coming back to Rubik, we can see that this will update. We can see that the rate is updated to give you the best deal. So let's go ahead and click rate is updated. Tap to get the latest rates. We can see that it's updated. We see 0.1 Ethereum, 0.73 BNB. All we have to do at this point is click swap. With swap clicked, we will see a prompt come up in MetaMask regarding the gas fees. So this is the final review where you review the gas fees and the total cost. Once you're happy with everything, go ahead and click confirm. Once you have confirmed the gas fee and the total on MetaMask and the transaction was successful on Etherscan, you will eventually see this on my trades. You can get to this by clicking my trades at the top right. And if you do not see anything here just yet, don't panic. It does take a few minutes. For me, when I was doing this last night, it took a few minutes for this to post, but eventually it showed up here and I got my funds. And we can see a nice review here of the status on the left from Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain. This was cross chain. We spent 0.1 Ethereum. We got 0.7 BNB and a timestamp as well. Now let's talk about setting up MetaMask with Binance Smart Chain Network so that we can see our BNBs and so that we can spend them and start buying some pulley token. To set up Binance Smart Chain, we need some information first. We'll go ahead and hop on Binance Academy. And to get to this, I did a Google search for set up Binance Smart Chain and it's the first link, academy.binance.com. Make sure you triple check these links that it's not a phishing scam or a malicious link. Let's go ahead and click that. From here, I'm gonna to navigate to about the middle of the article, and this is exactly what we want, the Binance Smart Chain mainnet. Back to MetaMask, let's click on Ethereum mainnet, click add network, and from here, we just have to copy and paste the information from Binance Academy. So let's get started. Let's start with network name. Next, RPC URL chain ID, symbol, and finally the block explorer URL. Once everything is looking great, go ahead and click save. And that's it. You just set up Binance Smart Chain Network on your MetaMask wallet. I had four BNB before I did this video and I got the 0.7 sent successfully through Rubik to this wallet address. Now note, it's the same wallet address for both Binance Smart Chain and the Ethereum network. So that comes in handy when you're sending coins back and forth and you're now ready to spend your BNB on Pulley Token, SafeMoon and other Binance Smart Chain BEP20 tokens. Always remember when you're not using your wallet to lock it and as an extra security tip, if you're not gonna be using Rubik for a long time, go ahead and click Account Options, Connected Sites, and you can disconnect sites from your wallet. I will click disconnect 
and once more. If by chance you remove a network, fear not, it does not delete your funds. Your funds are safe. You just have to add the network again to your MetaMask wallet. Last but not least, because we're going to be leaving our system unattended, let's go ahead and click on our avatar and lock the account. And that's it, guys. You just learned how to spend some Ethereum for some BNB on the Binance Smart Chain Network and to set up the Binance Smart Chain Network on your MetaMask wallet. To learn more about PolyToken, head over to polytoken.net and have an amazing day. Take care.